Hey, good morning, New Mexico. Happy Sunday. Just, oh my gosh, just check it out. Farmington right now, that camera, a beautiful sunrise across uh, Farmington and Silver City too. We're tracking those orange pink hues of those high level clouds. It's the best combination, really. Uh, truly why we like living here in the Southwest, right? A Rodoso, we're starting to see those winds start to pick up though. Uh, west winds right now at 15 miles per hour, uh, 45 degrees as we are waking up this Sunday morning in the Duke City, we're at 40 degrees. Uh, but I do want to get you up to speed about all the warnings, advisories and watches we're seeing out there. Uh, uh, fire weather warnings for northeastern New Mexico along I-40 as well out towards Santa Rosa. What this means is that we have conditions for a fire to spread very quickly, uh, so outdoor burning is just not recommended. So just keep that in mind, especially if you are going to be smoking any cigarettes or any other things later on today. As for uh, the wind advisories are in place for western New Mexico out towards Gallup, uh, the Sacramento Mountains, including Rodoso, and out towards uh, northeastern New Mexico under high wind warning later on today. That takes an effect uh, later on in the morning, about 9 o'clock in the morning to about 6 p.m. this afternoon. We'll be seeing wind gusts around 50 to 60 miles per hour, and these are damaging winds. So down trees, power lines could be a concern. Also, areas of blowing dust could be a possibility later on this afternoon. So that's going to reduce visibility. So if you do have to travel today, make sure you have enough distance between you and the car in front of you. So let's time out when we could see the strongest of these wind gusts uh, at 10 o'clock this morning, about a few hours or so you're going to see western New Mexico starts to pick up some speed in their winds. Uh, so we're talking 50 uh, mile per hour wind gusts uh, closer to Gallup and uh, closer to Grants. We could see it get to 50 miles per hour as well. Uh, around lunchtime, we're going to start to see central New Mexico pick up their wind speeds, but still be in that breezy category around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Then Albuquerque starts to see stronger wind gusts later on this afternoon or about 2 p.m. around 35 miles per hour. But northeastern New Mexico continues to see uh, very strong winds, so uh, be careful if you are traveling along the I-25 corridor. And even up until 9 o'clock in the evening, we are still tracking very windy conditions for Las Vegas, uh, still seeing wind gusts above 45 miles per hour. So as we travel to northwest New Mexico, it is going to be windy today. We'll see highs today in the mid 50s for uh, Chinle out towards Gallup as well. Grant's looking at a high of 60 degrees, Farmington upper 50s, and we'll see an increase in cloud cover for the remainder of the work week. And then our next storm system arrives Thursday and Friday, going to increase our rain and snow chances out towards the northwest on Thursday and Friday. Down towards the southwest, we're looking at highs in the 70s from Deming to TRC and Socorro. Silver City in the upper 50s. Windy today, windy tomorrow, but we do get slightly warmer for your Monday and Tuesday before our next storm system arrives on Thursday, which is going to increase our winds once again. As we move over to southeast New Mexico, we're looking at highs in the 70s for Alamogordo. Roswell tapping into the 80s today and tomorrow. Still windy for your Monday, but we're talking wind gusts around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Wind gusts closer to 45 miles per hour for today across Roswell, and then we'll see winds pick up once again on Thursday with our next storm system. Las Vegas, windy today and windy tomorrow. Keep in mind that high wind warning in place for today. We can see wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour, and then we'll see a cool down with our next storm system Wednesday into Thursday, but stronger winds are expected once again on Thursday. Across Santa Fe today, we're looking at windy conditions, highs in the upper 50s, and we'll remain in the upper 50s for the next several days before we cool down Thursday into Friday with the passage of our next storm system as well. Across the metro, we're looking at very warm, at a very warm afternoon with highs in the mid to upper 60s from the South Valley down towards Berlin. And here's the Albuquerque seven day forecast. 65 degrees will be our high for today, 66 for your Monday. It gets warmer on Tuesday, still breezy, and then we'll see a slight cool down Thursday into Friday.